So I, I'm going to probably get you guys mad, but what I'm about to say. <laughs> <don't> <laughs> no, so I'm gonna, it's coming. Um, the reality is when you deal with certain types of men, higher earning men, higher status men, you're going to have to get comfortable with the fact that other women are going to want him too, and that you're going to have to share him. Now, my thing is, is that men and women love differently and we show commitment differently. Mm -hmm. So if you're dating one of these guys, let's say, let's say you guys are in a serious relationship and he, you live with him or whatever, maybe he might step out on you from time to time, but you shouldn't be taking it personal because men are able to detach sex from, you know, feeling unlike women. So if a woman runs around and has sex with a lot of different guys and plays the same game he does, you lower your value. If a guy does it, his value is unaffected. As a matter of fact, a, a way to tell a guy is higher status is when he has sex with a lot of girls. Because for men to get sex is far more difficult than it is for women to get sex. And I always say privilege is invisible to those that have it. You guys can all open up your phones right now. And there's going to be 99 plus DMs of dudes trying to fuck you. doesn't work that way for men. Even the highest status guys aren't going to have half the options of an average girl. So therefore... Since the beginning of time, high status men have always had lots of women, harems of women, and women have kind of accepted that this comes with the territory if I'm going to deal with a higher status guy. If you want a guy that's loyal, you date a guy that makes, you know, 50 grand a year or whatever it may be, average guy, he might be more loyal. A man is only going to be as loyal as his options. That's the reality. Yep. So if you're going to deal with these kinds of guys, you know, men don't fight and become successful and make this kind of money to, to have one woman. It just doesn't work that way because men have to fight to get their sexual access where you guys are just giving it by birth. You guys are born with value. We have to create our value. So you can't use the same metrics to evaluate um, commitment as a man. 